I think at this point, Truman begins to see Stalin as an expansionist dictator and believe that the only thing that the Soviets understand, as he says, is strength, not negotiations. The turning point came in Greece and Turkey. In a civil war in Greece, Greek communists threatened to topple the monarchy. In Turkey, the Soviet Union was demanding control of the strategic Dardanelles Straits. Two local conflicts would become the catalyst for a worldwide struggle against communism. Truman would have to convince Congress that a crisis in two faraway countries threatened the security of the United States, that $400 million in military aid was needed to save Greece and Turkey. Truman had to go to this Republican Congress that had gotten into power in the elections of 1946 by promising to cut taxes and to cut aid overseas and get $400 million. The question was, how did you do this? Under Secretary of State Dean Acheson had the answer. What Acheson said was, if the Soviets could win in Greece and in Turkey, then there would be Soviet pressure on Italy, there would be pressure on Western Europe, and pretty soon the United States would be standing alone. Senator Vandenberg, who was the leader of the Republicans, said, if you can get that kind of a view across the American people, we'll support you. There was the story that Vandenberg said to Truman, uh, Mr. President, you're going to have to scare hell out of the American people. Uh, whether or not Vandenberg said that, that's exactly what Harry Truman did. President Harry S. Truman comes before a joint session of Congress to make a momentous announcement. I believe that it must be the policy of the United States to support free peoples who are resisting attempted subjugation by armed minorities or by outside pressures. If we falter in our leadership, we may endanger the peace of the world, and we shall surely endanger the welfare of this nation.